Valentine's Day has to be one of the most extraneous and trifling holidays of all time. We obviously know this holiday was fabricated to get people to blow more money than an EA user, but the general public still chooses to indulge in this spurious holiday. I don't know about y'all, but Valentine's Day has always been a day that I've abominated, whether I've been single or in a relationship. Forget the candy, forget the flowers. Sorry toots, I'm married to the grind. If love is in the air, then I'm asthmatic. But in all seriousness, Valentine's Day tends to either bring out the amiability out of people or the revulsion. So today, We'll be discussing some of the different type of people on Valentine's Day, as well as some of their tendencies and inclinations. Comment down below the type of person you are on Valentine's Day, and like and subscribe if you're new. First, we gotta talk about the simps. I think we're all familiar with simps, they need no introduction. But on Valentine's Day, these motherfuckers get an iOS update or something because it gets taken to another level like they're playing Angry Birds. These niggas will spend all type of currency trying to impress their crush who doesn't even know they exist. These niggas will show up to a girl's door with more chocolate than Willy Wonka and start pouring their heart out like fucking Edgar Allan Poe. Only to get turned down quicker than the average Ivy League applicant, bro. They think by getting on their hands and knees like some kind of barmy animal, they'll be able to convince somebody to be their valentine. I once seen a dude in the hallway telling a girl who do her homework in exchange for being his valentine. When I tell you my eyes popped out my head, like a fucking cuckoo clock i was in the hallway looking like bobby portis bro i was entirely discomposed by what i was hearing to be fair the nigga had a face on your mother club like buddy deadass look like the mucinex booger but i digress that's still inexcusable behavior nevertheless don't get me wrong i'm pretty sure we've all caught feelings or whatever but when you know the feeling isn't mutual just take your l and move on but some of these niggas take this shit too literal because they shoot more shots than jordan Poole and often end up with the same results as him too now we gotta talk about the braggers who constantly get spoiled with gifts these are the individuals who constantly bring up what their significant other got them on valentine's day when not a soul on God's green earth ass. Or they're the people who persistently remind people that they're taking on Valentine's Day. I've been in rooms with grown ass adults who sit and blabber their gums up and down for hours like they're giving a class presentation about what their boyfriend or girlfriend got them. And then they had the nerve to post about it on every single platform on the internet. Talking about, nobody hit me up, I'm taking. My nigga, we had no interest or engrossment. And I'm pretty sure we're all familiar with that one girl who prowls the hallway every February 14th with eight different gifts from guys in her hands. Me personally, I couldn't envision myself buying a girl a gift who's getting a Thomas the Tank Engine level train ran on her, but to each their own, I guess. You're confessing your love to someone who's getting their cheeks turned into a filet of fish But I mean, they would legit pull up to class with those big-ass stuffed teddy bears and more balloons than Pennywise talking about, look at what my man got me. My nigga, which one? You got a gift from an NFL roster worth of people. Maybe it's just because I'm not a materialistic person, but this shit was always so corny to me, bro. And I don't know about y'all, but our schools had these candy gram things that you could buy and get delivered to people, and every year that one girl would have her desk covered with them. Meanwhile, all the guys are sitting there with our thoughts, prayers, and cobwebs on our desk. This is why we need to bring back the times where everybody brought cards for the class. Nobody was left out. Now we gotta talk about the love Dovey, over the top wherefore art thou romeo ass couples bro i swear i don't have a single bone of hatred in my body but people like this are why valentine's day gets such a bad rep bro first of all there's the hallway hornballs these motherfuckers act like they haven't been in contact with each other in a couple decades bro like holy shit get a room or something calling each other the most obscene and rebarbative names underneath the sun i love you my snoochums no i love you more my little snookamookums lord have mercy my stomach starts sounding like it's got extra reverb on it the amount of people that would be pinned up against the locker's sucking face was incalculable i guess these niggas hormones were fuming beyond belief you would have thought these motherfuckers were extras in the 50 shades of gray franchise bro in order to get me started on the stairway sleazes all i'm trying to do is get to class and i'm halted by two motherfuckers looking like they're playing twister on the stairs i don't know what type of exhaust fumes you got to be on to try and repopulate in the school stairway but it's gotta be something crazy and then these indefatigable individuals insist on not only tarnishing my existence irl but also on social media we all know that one couple has to post every 15 seconds about what they're doing making it seem like they got this cosmo and wanda ass relationship but behind closed doors they're more like muriel and eustace bro and i find it very ironic how they'll post these shakespearean ass essays and manuscripts Scripts about how much love they have for this person just for them to be posted up with someone else two weeks later talking about i could never see myself with someone else my nigga you must have found your glasses in because you're posted up with a new nigga at the blink of an eye you would have thought they were a youtube couple the way they would break up and get back together bro now we gotta talk about the people who are single on valentine's day don't look so down bro join the club we got snacks on the counter but in all seriousness it's something wrong with being single or not having a valentine i can't even blame y'all because trying to find actual love in 2024 is like trying to find a black celtics fan valentine's day is just another day for us for real we just go about our business and call it a day I personally don't mind waking up to see that my only notification is from my lack of storage. But then there's the niggas who try and manufacture the most prodigious falsehoods possible, bro. Talking about, yeah, bro, I got this one brought out in Atlanta and she fine as hell. Bro, we're too damn old to be lying about shit like this. Just say you're single and keep it pushing. But being single on Valentine's Day is really dependent on your mindset. If you're really beating yourself up like Patrick because you don't have a Valentine, then it's gonna be doomsday for you. But if you ignore all the bullshit, then you should be A-OK. -okay. Besides, look on the bright side. We don't gotta worry about spending money on no dumbass teddy bears and can instead spend our money on that discount candy the day after Valentine's. I hate being around those people 
people are so negative and despondent whenever they're not in a relationship. It's like these niggas can't function without dating somebody, bro. It's like some fake ass symbiotic relationship or something. They just spend their day ejecting more tears than DW. Now we gotta talk about the people who hate Valentine's Day. Remember the single people I was just talking about? Well, pretty much just take them and add some chemical X. These are pretty much the single people who joined the dark side. These vitriolic motherfuckers go around spreading more hate than Uncle Ruckus, bro. Like, they'll see a random ass couple out in public and start trying to bash them for absolutely no reason at all, bro. But they hate anything that has to do with love. Like, who the fuck are you, Squidward? Speaking of which, have y'all seen those videos where they ask couples to switch their phones? I'm pretty sure some of them are scripted and whatnot, but that's still some godful behavior, bro. These niggas are actually trying to end more relationships than Usher, bro. And then doing my research for this video, I recently came across the fuck Valentine's trend that was popularized by none other than our favorite app, TikTok, of course. It pretty much consists of someone, usually in a Walmart, stating that they don't care about chocolate and flowers and all the other cliche Valentine's Day products, and then proceed to go on a rampage and knock everything off the shelves like a discourteous cat. As a former Walmart employee, I would be livid if I saw some dumbass kid doing some shit like this. Let me go into aisle B12 and see that look like Aang came through that motherfucker. Them little niggas are getting sent to a King Von meet and greet. But the most imbecilic thing that I witnessed as a result of this challenge was catastrophic. Apparently, Ghost Rider decided to join in on the fun because there was an entire Walmart aisle on fire. There's no way someone has that much disdain for a fucking holiday. The shit people would do for clicks and likes will never stagger me, bro. Now we gotta talk about the people who overspend on Valentine's Day. They deadass be treating this holiday like a lovey Christmas, bro. Seeing how much debt they can put themselves in. And like I said earlier, nowadays people be changing relationships as often as I change clothes. So they'll literally blow hundreds of dollars on Valentine's Day just to break up with someone a couple weeks later. I be seeing people get their significant other Gucci bags, Prada purses, a diamond necklace, and the newest iPhone. And then they'll go out to some five-star Gordon Ramsay fettuccine linguine ass restaurant and drain their pockets like a kitchen sink. Who the fuck takes out a loan for Valentine's Day, bro? These niggas' relationships be built on more money than the Bank of America Corporation, bro. They literally compete on who can spend the most money like some kind of deviant contest. Meanwhile, I'm over here falling to my knees when I need to buy eggs and milk. But in all seriousness, love doesn't have a price and you don't need six figures to have a good time. I'm enervated from hearing people complain that they didn't get anything for Valentine's Day. All I got for Valentine's Day was a happy Wednesday, but we gonna keep thugging it out. Can we also talk about the people who claim they don't need a man or woman? Now, I'm not saying that everybody needs to be in a relationship or pursuing one. I'm more so scrutinizing the people who treat the opposite gender like some kind of sullied plague or something. The whole all men are trash or all women are thoughts is such a half-witted concept to me, bro. And on Valentine's Day, it constantly feels like these type of people are coming out the woodworks. They're usually people who got done dirty by an ex-boyfriend or girlfriend and now they seek vengeance against everybody of that same gender. I feel like social media has rotted the average human's brain more than some fungus, but apparently toxic love and relationships is what gets people riled up more than some energy drinks. Hence why people are constantly talking about Blueface and Chris Rock. Moral of the story, every human's fucked up regardless of the gender and we should all put our problems to the side and sing Kumbaya amongst the campfire. But in conclusion, Valentine's Day is unbearable whether you're single or taken. As long as you're not drawing faces on your hands, then we should be cool. And if you are in a relationship, you should love that person every day, Valentine's or not. But, I think it's gonna wrap everything up for this video, man. Comment down below the type of person you are on Valentine's Day. Like and subscribe if you're new. Join the family. We going crazy. 2024 takeover is not full effect, baby. Thank you if you made it to the end of this video, man. Thank y'all for rocking with me. It's always a pleasure to chop it up with y'all. You know what I'm saying? I'm blessed. I'm honored to be able to make videos for y'all. You know what I'm saying? We going crazy. I got some heat on the way. And thank y'all for rocking with me. But, I hope this video finds you in good spirits. Thank y'all for rocking with me. I'm G Grimy. It's been real. I'm out. I love y'all. Peace.